Okay, um, I went ahead and I did the top stitching around the armholes. Um, I didn't do it on camera because um, I don't do it in any specific order. I just uh, set my machine at my center and I um, try to get, I'm probably about, I don't see my ruler anywhere, maybe an eighth of an inch away from the edge, probably an eighth of an inch, and I just try to do as neat as I can. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to to um, get it even all the way around, but you just got to try and do the best you can. I mean, it's not the easiest thing uh, making a circle around an armhole, but um, if, you, if your thread matches, all you're really doing is just getting a nice smooth finish, so you don't, you know, be real particular about that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I've got my armholes in, I'm going to turn my um, piece of uh, uh, my material inside out. I'm going to just sort of stuff everything inside here, and I'm going to line up my uh, edges here. So we're going to try and put our right sides together. We're going to open up our sleeve, our seams here and the one on the bottom and we're going to match this up and we're going to go about oh not quite halfway across the bottom of the vest okay because we're going to do one side and then we're going to turn around pull this out and we're going to do the other side it's almost the same way I did that reversible vest okay so let's go ahead and make sure your fabrics all nice and stuffed and tucked up inside there because you don't want to catch it in your seam Okay, it's pretty easy to do. And not catch it, but pretty easy to keep it away from your seam line. Okay, so let's go to about mm, probably maybe let's go about an inch and inch and a half into well, let's see if we can go about two inches in. So we want to sew straight just like that. Okay, so let's go back to our straight stitch. And we're going to sew straight along that line of stitching. Okay, we're going to cut this edge too, so we're going to start our seam right where that line of stitching is. You can start it before there, but you, you want to back stitch from there. Let me um, go forward a little bit and show you what I mean. Because we're going to trim that like we trim the top. So we could have um, back stitched that too. Okay, so we sewed from here to about, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's two inches. I don't know what I did with my ruler. Put it to the side and now I can't find it. Oh, it disappeared on me. Okay, here, well, here's this one. Let's see what we got here. We went in from the the seam we went in about uh, one and three quarters inch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut cut that uh, diamond just like we did on the top. Okay, and that's going to be our edge. So let's pull our fabric out again. And we're going to Take your turner, whatever you're going to use, and we're going to smooth that out. Okay, so we're going to use this. Now this, when you're doing it this way, um, that's why I didn't do it before, because you can, oops, I went right through the fabric there. You can, um, I am on the right side. I, I um, knew you can, you can reach all your corners from this point before you sew the whole, th do the top stitching all the way around the whole outside. Okay, so that's still a little too much fabric, so just try and get that to a, 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 be a good a point as you can. Okay, so I'll work on that a little bit later. Okay, so we've got that side done. Okay, see how we did that? So we've got that part done, so now we're going to turn this 
push this in and go the opposite side, go the opposite way. You may not be able to get in as far as you did on the first one, but let's see how far we can get. fabric's tough, tucked up inside there so you don't sew on it. You can actually feel it to know whether it's there or not. Okay, so open up your seams. Open up this back one here. You want to make sure they match, and they should, and they do. So put a pin in there. Continue along, continue along. Okay. I just got a phone call, and the guy said he was from Windows ITT Tech. I hope I didn't just give away something I shouldn't have. I hate that. You know, fraud is getting so prevalent now. It's just, you just don't, you can't trust anybody nowadays, and it's so sad. You just can't trust the soul. Okay, especially on the telephone. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in our quarter of an inch, and we're going to back stitch, and then we're just going to keep sewing. this next needle pin. Okay, let's back it up. Okay, so here we go again. We're going to cut our corner off so that it will lay flat on the inside and we're going to pull our fabric out. all we have left to stitch up. I don't even do an invisible stitch. I just close that up like that and then um, come to my edges. We're going to top stitch this all the way around now. So just pull that out until it's nice and even to the edge. Put a pin in it. And we're going to do this all the way around the whole outside of the vest. I'm not going to do it on camera because it's going to take me too long. So I'm just going to um, pull, the, pull these out. Let me do it on this side so you can see what I mean. Put a pin in it. Now if you want to turn your seams down here a quarter of an inch so you know exactly what a quarter of an inch is. So go ahead and do that. Put a pin in it. Turn it over, turn your front seam down, your front of the vest down a quarter of an inch, put a pin in it, okay, and then now when you line it up, you want to do it so that when you do your top stitching that the pink doesn't show on the other side. So you might have a little bit, it won't be too much, but let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, see I didn't do any. I just turned that down and stitched it. And you can't even tell. The other one's still on the doll. You can't see that one anyway in the start fabric. Okay, so let's do this. 
because we're going to be really close to the edge, there's, it's going to catch all that fabric, so there's no need to do an invisible stitch there. It's all going to get really nice and neat with the top stitching, so you don't even bother with it. Okay. Okay, so there we go on that. So now if you wanted to make sure your points were good before you put that, close up that seam, this is the time to do it before you do your top stitching. So the next item on the agenda now is to top stitch the entire thing all the way around. I top stitch from the right side, so I'm going to start in the middle of the neck because most of your dolls have hair. So this is less likely to be seen on the finished doll. So this is where I'll start my top stitching right here on this neckline behind the back. And I'll start top stitching all the way around until we get there. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the rest of my corners, get them all nice and neat, and um, get some really sharp edges here. And then I'm going to do top stitching all the way around. And the only thing we have left now is to insert our eyelets and turn down our um, little corners here for our neckline and do a little um, basting stitch. Okay, so when I come back, we'll finish off.